In this video, we're going to take a look at standard 79A, which says the student is expected to solve problems involving the volume of rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, rectangular pyramids, and triangular pyramids. For this standard, the students are going to have to be comfortable referring to the star grade 7 mathematics re reference materials because the formulas for the volume of prisms and pyramids are provided on that reference material. Plus, there are also rulers on the reference material. In some cases, the student may be asked to measure to find dimensions before calculating volume of prisms and pyramids. A, a note I want to make is that students must understand the formula for volume of prisms and pyramids depends on the shape of the base. Here's the seventh grade reference materials that the students are provided when they take the star test. And you can see that under volume, there is a formula provided for the prism and a formula provided for pyramid. Let's take a look at a released item. This item comes from the 2016 seventh grade star test. And it says, the dimensions of a triangular prism are shown in the diagram. What is the volume of the triangular prism in cubic centimeters? So, there is a lot of vocabulary and terminology that goes along with this standard. So I've taken a moment to provide the vocabulary here for you. And if you would like, you can take a moment to pause the video to read through that vac vocabulary. I'm not going to go through it all right now with you, but it is available here for you if you need to refer to it. So back to the problem. We need to find the volume of this triangular prism. So let's think. We know we have a prism. So the formula for the volume of a prism is volume V equals B times H. And again, you can see that that comes directly from the reference materials. Let's identify our variables. So V is the volume of the rectangular prism, B is the area of the base of the prism, and H is the height of the prism. Something important to note is that prisms are named by the shape of their base. So if we are told that we have a triangular prism, what is the shape of the base? Well, the shape of the base is going to be a triangle. And here's the picture where you can see that we have triangular faces that are parallel to each other. And that's another way that we can tell that those are the bases. And again, like I said, prisms are named by their bases. So since we've told triangular prism, the base is going to be a triangle. So how do we find the area of a triangle? Well, we can refer to the reference materials, and on the reference materials, it will provide the formula for the area of a triangle, which is area, or A, equals 1 half times the base times the height. So let's look at the diagram that we're provided, and you can see they have labeled some dimensions for that triangular base. So we have the height measured as 4 centimeters and the base measured as 6 centimeters. So we're going to substitute those values into the formula for the area of a triangle. So A or area equals 1 half times the base of that triangle, which is 6, times the height of the triangle, which is 4. We're going to go ahead and multiply. So I'm going to multiply um, half of 6. 1 half times 6 is 3. And we still have times 4. 3 times 4 will give us an area of 12 centimeters squared. So now we know what the area of the base is. Let's go back to our formula for volume, which is V equals area of the base times the height of the prism. So V or volume equals our area of the base is 12 centimeters squared times the height of the prism, which is 16. Now the height is the perpendicular distance between the two bases. So right here we can see that this side 
is perpendicular to both of these triangles, so therefore that is the height of the prism. So the last step here is to multiply 12 times 16, which is 192 centimeters cubed. So our volume is 192 centimeters cubed.